Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and um, this is the first session of a series that I'm going to be filming for you guys and that is how I set up my new planner when I get it. Um, so I have my old planner here to show you along with the supplies I'm going to be using and we're going to jump in. Um, first I will say this is the new 2021 2022 just my type vertical colorful planner from Erin Condren. So if your planner is a different layout, some of the pages may look just a little bit different, but for the most part, they kind of have the same guts or the same planning pages. So this is um, video one, and I wanna talk about this yearly overview. Um, I do an academic planner, so I have July through December here, and I have seen a lot of different uses for this spread over the years. Some people track their health. Um, some people track goals, work schedules, vacation days, sick days. And I have been doing this for quite a few years. So let me pull out my current planner. Um, I tr track my husband's on-call schedule and his bowling schedule. And then um, my son attends the same school district that I work in, so our calendars are pretty similar, and I track um, that school calendar. And I use these Planner Kate transparent stickers to do that, and there are a few options, and I'll tell you the difference between all of those. But I'm going to be using mine the same way. So, um, first up, let's take a look at the different sticker options from Planner Kate. Um, on this one, I use the solid Planner Kate colorway, but there are some different options. So, um, she S810 are also transparent, but just the outline of the circle is colored and the center is transparent. So that comes in handy um, when you have multiple things to track because you can put those on top of the solid circles, which is sheet S806. So um, that's an option. You can put those on top of these if you have things that overlap days. Um, I have just been putting both colors here. So we had no school, but I had to work this day. It's a teacher work day. So I just went ahead and used two solids, but you could definitely use a solid and an outline. So both of these are the planner cake colorway. She also makes this version of solid stickers in the Erin Condren colorway, which is sheet S814. So if you prefer the traditional Erin Condren colorway, you could pick up that sheet as well. And then lastly, she offers that planner cake colorway only in sort of a rounded square rather than a circle, and that is sheet S807. So I think for mine this year, I'm going to be doing um, these Planner Kate, and then if I have overlapping things, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, this option with the transparent middle. So the first thing I'll tell you to do um, that's helpful for me, and um, most people end up doing it this way, is to make a key. So I'm gonna stick with my same colorway, and I've been doing this so long I really don't need a key, but it does come in handy just so you don't have to like stop and think about what each color is. So I'm going to use um, this light blue color for early dismissals and then I'm going to use the coral color for no school days and I'm going to use this black outline of a circle if it's a day I have to work but we don't have school and then I will use the navy blue for my husband's bowling schedule and I think I'll add um, what do I want to do I think I will add this teal color for his aunt's call schedule so it's not all the same color. 
All right, so now I can go ahead and label these with my ink pen. Go ahead and do that so I don't forget which colors stand for what. So this was early dismissal. And then I just decided, um, I haven't done this traditionally, but I am going to start doing that. And that is, I'm going to add a color, which I think I will do gray. I'm gonna use these for my um, sick days that I take just to track those. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started, follow my code and start putting down dates. I'm gonna probably speed you guys up because it's gonna take a while and you don't need to watch me put down every single sticker. Okay, so that was my husband's on-call schedule. We only have through 2021 right now, so I'll wait to do his 2022 schedule later, and now I'm going to jump into our school schedule. All right, so here's what it looks like um, using those stickers. I really like how these um, transparent center circles work over the solid circles, and I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. And I like doing this just so I can have a, a broad sense of where we're at in the school year and vacations that are coming up um, and how those align with my husband's on-call schedule because he has to be here in town for those. So this is how I've been utilizing this page and I hope it um, gave you a little bit of inspiration maybe on how you can use these planning pages. Um, I did wanna throw in that I had talked to Kate and if you purchase the A5 size version of any of these new planners, of course A5 is smaller than seven by nine which means that these calendars are smaller, and she is planning on releasing smaller versions of the transparent circles so that um, they fit on the calendar numbers without any overlap. So if you're an A5 user, stay tuned for that. Um, I don't have those to show you, and I don't have a release date, but I anticipate that it shouldn't be too long before those come out. Um, thank you for watching the first video in this series, and then next up, we're gonna talk about that um, month at a glance overview for, um, video two.